There's a lot of material out there about Christian dating, and one of the phrases that's so commonly used is guard her heart or protect her heart. What does this even mean for a Christian guy that wants to date? And you're looking at that phrase and you're looking at the, the advice that people give about Christian dating. It's often so kind of confusing with these random terms that don't really have a clear explanation. And so you're left in the dark. But today I want to explain to you what it actually means to guard her heart and protect her heart in a biblical and godly way. And I'm also going to share with you how many, many Christian guys get this completely wrong and they think they're doing the right thing, but in fact, they're actually making it so much worse. So I'll just begin by talking a little bit about my dating experience with my now wife. When I first met her, we went out on a few dates, but after the third date, I told her, I said, hey, I like you um, and I, I want to pursue you, but I don't play games. So I want to make my intentions clear. Like th I'm not messing around here. I'm interested in you. I'm not messing around with other people. I'm not pursuing other people. You're the person I'm interested in. I'm not saying that this is completely going to, you know, I'm not saying this has to work out or anything, but I'm just saying this is where my intention is. And I want to be clear with you about where I'm at and how I feel. Now, the way that men often screw this up is that they think by communicating less about where they're at and how they feel, that's actually protecting your heart because you wouldn't want to get her hopes up. So you don't want to say, oh, I really like you and I'm, I'm interested in potentially, you know, in pursuing you for marriage or anything like that. You wouldn't want to say anything like that um, because you might get her hopes up and, and, and that kind of thing. And what if things change? What if, you know, some things pop up and they're not super good and then you have to make a tough decision? It was better just to stay silent in, you know, in the first place and not really tell her where you're at and just kind of go along, string her along and see if it ends up working out. And that's what a lot of guys do. They just kind of like treat her as like a friend, but with some benefits, maybe they're not crossing any sexual boundaries necessarily, but it's like, okay, you know, um, we're kind of boyfriend and girlfriend, but he's not making his intentions clear. And maybe even after being boyfriend and girlfriend, he's continuing to not really say anything about marriage or where this is going or any kind of timeline because he, he doesn't want to get her hopes up because he's scared that it might not work out and then she'll be heartbroken but here's here's what we need to realize guys this is this is the truth of it women would prefer clarity they would prefer clarity. Like that's just the truth of it. They don't need you to lie to them. They don't need you to coddle them. You should say how you feel in that moment, what your intentions are. They want clarity. It is okay if your intentions change. If you say, hey, I, I wanna see if this, this might work out. I wanna intentionally pursue you. And then somewhere down the line, something, you know, it just isn't working and you say, hey, this isn't, you know, working. I don't think we're really aligning on this. I, I don't see myself having a long-term future with you in marriage. And I just want to let you know that like communicating those things, it, it does hurt. It does. But what hurts a lot more is not communicating any of those things because you think you'll ease the pain you'll, because you'll, you'll soften the blow because you're not putting any expectations on the relationship. No, it's okay, like, but communicate. One of the other important aspects of protecting your heart is acting in accordance with the level that you're at. Let me explain that. So if you are friends, you will do friend things, you will talk like friends, you will behave like friends, that is what you do. If you are boyfriend and girlfriend, you will act like boyfriend and girlfriend, you will do things like boyfriend and girlfriends do, you will talk like boyfriends and girlfriends. And when you're married, when you're husband and wife, you will act like husband and wife. You will do things that husband and wives do. You will talk like a husband and a wife. Here's a practical example of that. If you are friends with a girl, you're not going to take her out one-on-one -on -one to a fancy restaurant, get her a gift, go on a long walk afterwards, have a full heart-to-heart -heart conversation, drop her off at her parents and come home. That is not something that friends do. That is a recipe for breaking her heart. If you're boyfriend and girlfriend, you're not going to cuddle up together in bed and have a long late night chat or have a sleepover together. When you step out of the boundary of the stage that you're at, that's when trouble starts. Hypothetical here for you guys. Let's say you meet a girl, you maybe date her for a while, or maybe even just go on a few dates, okay? Just maybe three or four dates and you're having a good time with her and you're enjoying her company, but you know, hey, this isn't really going to work out for one reason or another. Maybe you're not attracted to her. Maybe your values just don't align. Maybe you're, your personality 
personalities. They just don't click as much and you need to cut it off. This is where a lot of guys get in trouble because they don't want to communicate. They want to leave things a little bit ambiguous because they think that will soften the blow. But once again, clarity is important. That doesn't mean you're mean or rude or share unnecessary information. Like you don't need to say, oh, I thought you were ugly. That's why we can't continue. That is dumb. But being clear with them and saying, hey, I really enjoyed our time, but I just don't see this going long term. And I don't think our values really align or our personalities really click. Saying something like that, depending on what it is, I really appreciate you and I wish you all the best. That goes a long way in protecting someone's heart. The truth is cowardice, lack of communication, and boundaries being crossed is a recipe for disaster. Now, this is a learning process, guys. You're not going to do this perfectly. And maybe you've had experiences in the past where you know you've hurt somebody, where you know you screwed up, and maybe you haven't made it right with that person. Maybe you need to make it right with that person. Maybe you need to make it right with God and, and come to terms with, hey, I actually really screwed up here. And maybe it was out of fear or cowardice or just selfishness or laziness or lust, whatever it was. You need to come to terms with that own, that own brokenness, that own sin in order to heal from it, really. And when you enter the next stage, you can learn from that. You can learn, okay, hey, I'm going to say this differently. I'm going to make this different decision. I'm going to be more self, self-controlled self here. You need, to, you need to keep in your mind, too, that women are softer than men. Women are the weaker vessel. And you can come up with a lot of different interp- interpretations of what the Bible means when it talks about that. But... In a lot of ways, it means that you as a man need to be extra self-conscious and self-aware about your actions and your behavior and how you're interacting with a woman. This is just base level stuff because ultimately, whether this woman will turn out to be your wife or not, they are a child of God. They are God's daughter and you want to treat them like that. And so we're going to encourage each other and how to go about doing that in the best way And that's just like for me and my wife, it was amazing. It was kind of very intentional from the beginning. We were both very intentional saying, hey, we're not going to play games with this. We're not going to mess around. We're going to be clear about where each other are at. We're not going to lead each other on. I'm not going to lead her on. on, And I'm going to be clear about where I'm at with this relationship and how I feel. And that way we can just be really, really transparent. That's the best. And it worked out really, really well for us. And I hope you experience the same thing in setting those boundaries, in communicating clearly, and just enjoying, hey, the stage of where you're at. Thanks so much for watching this video, guys. If you enjoyed it and got something from it, I encourage you to give it a like down below and subscribe because I'm putting out new videos all the time. This content is made possible by my patrons on Patreon. If you want to support my mission of equipping people to follow Jesus daily, hit the link in my description and sign up today. It would be a huge blessing. I'll see you next time. God bless.